My husband and I built this home with Linwood as part of a dream home project and probably the biggest DIY we've ever come up with. And welcome to our home. went to different places all over the island to figure out where do we want to live, what do we want to do. And my husband said, you know, I've done all the other aspects of building a house individually, but I haven't actually built a house. And so that's something I would really like to do. Okay, I can get behind that. Sure, let's do that. He found Linwood and discovered, you know, if I get this package, it'd be so much easier than sorting out all the other things. I wanted passive solar and I wanted environmentally friendly and I wanted options to be more off-grid as we went along. I really liked the West Coast style of the house with the high ceilings and the angular pieces. So can we do that? He says, yeah, I can. And when he says I can, I, I hear yes. Then we just do stuff and he ends up doing a lot more work. <laughs> so we had heard about the Linwood packages and we brainstormed what all do we want in the house. And then I took that drawing and those ideas, compared them to different Linwood designs that were already in existence and then found one that was closest and made modifications and that's how we ended up with this particular house style. So I come up with an idea or I have a hmm I want this to do a thing and I don't know if it's a possible and he figures out a way to make it work. Yeah we were looking at the idea of bed and breakfast also with the idea of my parents are aging and I'm the one that's going to have to be looking after those situations. I wanted it to be able to be connected to the main part of the house so that I can watch out for if there was a dementia situation or something arising. Our stuff is on one side of the house and guest stuff is on the other side of the house. And each of the guest rooms has their own ensuite so they can be fully encapsulated that way. And then the middle is shared ground. It's because if it was just the two of us and the dog, probably would have done it a little bit differently. In our house in Red Deer, we had a little kitchen and we would have 25 people over for Thanksgiving and they were all in my little kitchen. This way, sure, come on into the kitchen, we'll just stay here and it works out just nice. wanted natural, natural colors, natural features, and a lot of light. You couldn't just have one white ceiling, or you could have something with some personality. We have plenty of space if we choose to put in solar panels, and during construction we put in all the piping or whatever you would call it for that to be able to be essentially add-on, hook up, and good to go. Because all the work was being done by us. Having the supplies already be sorted out, calculated, sourced, and delivered was huge. It just made so much more sense for our process. See, we don't have gas here, but we do have propane. Periodically on the island, if there's going to be a storm, trees fall down and power lines go out. The very first couple months we were in here, there was a big storm, big power outage, and the neighbors that had brought over meals while we were cooking and done super nice neighborly things all the way along. Their power was out as well. We had heat and we had our generator so we had light. I would just phone up every morning, coffee's on, and they'd be coming running over because it was so great to be able to give back. 